you. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. You didn't need to sound quite so disappointed at the prospect of calling me, Mr Chair, but I'm, I, I promise you that I will make it worthwhile. Um, I, I was very interested. <laughs> This better not be coming off my time. <laughs> I, I was interested in the comments made by, by the member in the chair that this was a matter of principle for the ACT Party and the National Party. This was a, uh, 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 this was a matter of principle. And, and I suspect that maybe a, a, an alternative title for this bill might be the Education Freedom of Association Are You Kidding Me? <laughs> Amendment Bill. Because we have just sat through a debate on Paul Quinn's terrible legislation, right. embarrassing legislation, which makes us an international joke. With, with the, the Bill of Rights was absolutely against it. And the member in the chair, Heather Roy, said that one of the reasons we should support this is because it's contrary to the Bill of Rights. Where the member, Hilary Calvert, gave one of the most bizarre speeches I've ever seen, where she said something about one of those clowns that have the ping pong ball and I don't like this bill and um, but we have to Order. support it because it's a national party. I, this is what I'm talking about, Mr Speaker. This is the <laughs> are you kidding me amendment bill. Because what the Minister one? says this is a matter of one? principle. This is a matter it's a title clause. This is a matter of principle. And yet on a previous piece of legislation, which the same principle could be applied to, the ACT Party voted in favour of it, even though their own members said they didn't support it. So I just want to say to the member in the chair that when she lectures this side of the House on principle, she might want to look a little bit closer to home on some of those issues, Mr Chair. I think the next possible title, a more appropriate title for this bill, would be the Education Freedom of Association. We can't get 10 per cent support for this to get a referendum, so we'll make Parliament intervene amendment bill. Because let us be clear, this is what's happened. At the moment, if this was such a big issue, student associations, such a big issue, then they, the people who think we should have voluntary membership could get 10 per cent of the student membership to say we want a referendum and it would happen. They can't do it. They can't do it. That was Tohi Nari's amendment. I actually think that's fair. Yeah, I think absolutely. it's fair. They could not do it. The 2% party normal. could not get 10% support to force a referendum, so they're making Parliament intervene. That's right. How ridiculous is that? And I say to the member in the chair, if she truly believes that this is something that's good for students, go on to the campuses of New Zealand and argue. Everyone and you lost. Everyone. You lost. You lost Heather Roy. That's why we're in the House debating this. Because if Heather Roy actually had 10% 10 support, not 50% support, not 25% support, 10% support, there would be referenda around the country on this issue. She can't do it. She can't even get 10% support. So Parliament has to intervene. How ridiculous is that, Mr Chair? Now... Another, another. Oh, I've, I've woken up Morris Williamson. <laughs> I've woken the sleeping giant. This is incredible. I did say I'd make it worthwhile, Mr. Chair, Chair, and I have delivered. I have delivered. Morris Williamson has woken up. He's agitated. Get onto your feet, Mr. Williamson. Take a call. Don't sit there like a dried arrangement. Get on your feet. Take a call. Had the courage of your convictions. Had the courage of your convictions. Because another title for this, Mr. Chair, could be the Education. Freedom of Association, another National Party broken promise That's amendment right. bill. Exactly because in the last election campaign, National MP Paul Hutchison That's went right. to the NZUSA conference right as there. National's representative. And what did he say when he was asked about student uh, membership? National will not change the status quo. He promised National will not change the status quo. And the student associations took that at its word, and apparently, as we found out with a lot of other things, that means nothing. So here's another broken promise. At least the ACT Party had the courage of their convictions to campaign on this issue. The National Party promised student associations they would not pass legislation that changed the status of, uh, of um, student associations, Mr Chair. So this is another broken promise from this National Government. Now, another possible title, which I think would be far more appropriate than the current one, is the Education Freedom of Association. How dare you vote in favour of compulsory student membership amendment bill? Because Waikato University went voluntary. It didn't work. It decimated their student association. They bet, Mr Chair, Mr Chair, 
Mr Chair. Catherine Dell.